Welcome to DS Trucks. Guys, if you've been following the channel, you know that the lease on this truck is coming up. In fact, it is up. It was supposed to be turned in October 2nd. It's now like October 15th and the truck is still here. So the people at Ford Credit have been pretty cool. And as far as extensions go, they haven't charged me for an extension, but I have until next week and, and in which case I can extend it. But at the end of the day, guys, I've had this truck now for three years and it's time for me to actually buy a truck. I feel like it's time for me to buy a truck instead of leasing it. That way I can do more modif more modifications. Now, I've been really thinking about every option that I have. Now, now, one option would be to keep this truck and I really wish that I could. The problem with me keeping this truck is I really can't plow snow with this truck and it doesn't have enough payload for what I want to do so it's a tough one you know now if it weren't for those issues I would keep it you know but you know I looked into the plows that this truck can carry and this truck can't carry much it's a pretty weak snow plow that it would that it carries and I, I'd break that thing in one season for sure and I beat the truck up the truck's just not built for plowing and you really ain't gonna haul salt with it so there's a couple options on the table. Number one, if you've been following the channel, you know for a while that I've been looking at these F450s. So I'm a little nervous with the F450 for a couple of reasons. Uh, they're heavy, but all diesel trucks are going to be kind of heavy. Uh, the F450 is going to be a little bit heavier. I think it's going to be okay, though. I'm a little bit nervous about commercial tires, but at the end of the day, the F450 is one of the coolest trucks that I can bring to the channel. So it's very attractive to me. This is DS Trucks, by the way. This channel is about trucks. So why not bring the coolest truck that I can bring to the channel? You know, F450. Now I'm looking at, I'm looking at a Lariat with the LED lights. It's gonna be a sharp looking truck. Uh, it's got a snow plow prep package. And I was just looking at my old snow plowing videos and that dually wheel on the F450 is about eight feet wide. And looking at my snow plowing videos, I haven't seen anything where I wouldn't really fit. So I think, you know, I think it'll be good as far as size. Matter of fact, the blade that we put on the truck is eight feet wide. So looking at the videos, some of the tighter uh, properties, the wings were actually expanded out a little bit while I was actually plowing. So I don't think I'll have a issue plowing. And the thing is too about the 450, I want the long bed. I don't necessarily want the dually, but I think I can live with the dually. I really want the long bed. And as soon as I get the long bed, I'm going into the longer wheelbase and it's going to get harder to maneuver. Then the 450 actually gives you the turning radius that this F-150 has. So it gives it some of the maneuverability back. Not all of it, because it's still a longer truck, but you get some of it back. So option number one that's on the table is F-450 uh, Iconic Silver Lariat uh, Bells and Whistles and everything. So it's an expensive truck, but I think it'll be a cool truck for the channel. Now option number two is get an old, not an old, I almost said old, but get a cheap F-250, a new F-250, but a cheap one. So my current dealership, my normal dealership that I go to, Dorian Ford, has uh, some cheap F-250s. Uh, they cost probably about half as much as the F-450. And then I could take on this truck as my daily driver. And that's kind of attractive to me, too, because this truck does perform great. 6.2 liter gas V8 with the 430 gears. When I pulled the weight with the dump trailer in, a few weeks ago on that video... Man, it was it, it had the best way to describe the 430 gears would be super performance, you know, compared to the other gear ratios. It just once you're towing with this truck, it really just feels right. So I could do a lot with this truck. Um, there's a couple things that are missing that I wish I would have got installed from the factory. Number one, upfitter switches. This truck, for whatever reason, did not have upfitter switches, which we did try to order that, but for whatever reason, it didn't get ordered right. Um, but you know, I, the 6.2 to me, it's a great engine. I love having the engine. But for the channel, for it to be my main truck, I might get a little bit bored with the 6.2 because it's just not enough new things for me to talk about with the 6.2. It, it's one of those things. The 6.2 is a great engine. It's probably, for me, it's probably better than a diesel. And 
a lot of you guys are right. Like I shouldn't get a diesel because I don't need I don't need all of that. But with the six two, nothing ever goes wrong. It's just it's just reliable. It doesn't need that much maintenance. It's it's a great choice. It's a great engine, but it does get a little bit boring because it, because it's so good. It's so straightforward. It's just a great engine, but it's a little bit boring. So I feel like if I make this my daily, I'll get a little bored. But I do want to fix some of these little things that are wrong. This little dent here that I did when I first bought the truck. But I've again, I've had this truck now for a long time. So for me to make this the main truck, you know, I don't know if it'd get boring. You know, I could put 37s on it. I could, you know, level it out, whatever. So I could do things to this truck if I decided to go that route and get a cheap F-250 for business and then do some stuff for, to this truck to uh, to make it more personal. So that's an option. Uh, I really want to get into a diesel. So I could also, instead of getting a 450, there's an F-350 single rear wheel STX trim just like this. It does have the F upfitter switches. There's a few of those located in Ohio, in Ohio that I could uh, make a little bit of a drive a couple hours away to pick up. That would be cool. Um, that That's cool because while the 450, I love 430 gears for hauling and towing and plowing. The the only time I'll actually use the full capacity of an F450 is during snow. 1,000 pounds in the front, 4,000 4, pounds in the bed with salt. And then I can have so much salt stored up. And I'm always ready because I don't have uh, I don't have room for for salt here. If I can always stay with a yard of salt on the F450, then I'm always ready to spread some salt. So that to me is cool. When I think about this 450, this loaded F450 is extremely expensive. The insurance I've checked is insane. But you know, as someone that's on social media, to be able to just post those pictures and all that, you know, it's kind of a attention getter. I feel like now. So I, I feel like I've got three options. I feel like really I've, I have three options. Number one, get an F450, make this, keep this as our work truck. Number two, get an F250, cheap F250. That's going to be the cheapest route. And then take this truck as a daily driver, put some cool tires on it maybe like falcon wild peaks i really like falcon wild peaks i've had those before falcon wild peaks maybe a level maybe some suspension components like some uh fox shocks or whatever some stuff like that or go ahead and go to ohio and pick up an f-350 single rear wheel dual or not dually but f-350 single rear wheel 3.55 rear gear and the thing that I like about that third option, picking up the F-350, is the fact that it has that 3.55 rear gear. Now, for plowing, I like a 430. I like the way it feels when you're turning with the four-wheel drive on, engaged, having that torque multiplication at the differential. For, to my, in my opinion, from my experience, I feel like the 430s power through the four-wheel drive binding and all that stuff is powered through a lot better with a 430 gear. But for daily driving with all the torque of the new 6.7 liter power stroke, a 3.55 would be better for daily driving. You know, the, four, the, the uh, 430s is, is a lot of torque for unloaded, unloaded driving, which I do a lot. So you guys comment below. Let me know what you think would be the best option. Uh, I'm been, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. I've been real quiet about it, but. I am uh, finally deciding to just kind of reach out to you guys and see what you guys think. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. We got three options. We got to make a move by next week. I could always extend if I need to. But, you know, four credit is great about extending at least. I didn't realize that it would be that easy. But um, uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to get an F-250, an old, but not an old. I keep saying old. But are we going to get a cheap F-250? And make this the daily are we going to get an f450 as a daily driver to be the uh kind of the catalyst for the channel because i feel like i need i need a good catalyst for the channel put a nice led plow on it got uh iconic silver iconic silver f450 with leds with a nice uh stainless steel plow that'd be kind of cool or 
F350 long bed, single rear wheel, iconic silver STX truck. So comment below. Tell me, you got, tell me what you guys think. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And stay tuned to the channel because we're going to be getting our snow equipment going. I already got the plow pulled out. It's going to get a new cutting edge and get some maintenance done. But thank you guys for watching. This is DS Trucks. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Over and out. Bye.